So, uh, tonight we are back here at Riviera Beach. We are gonna go for a night dive this time at Blue Heron Bridge. Uh, there's a really amazing array of creatures that hang out under this bridge, just under the cityscape of West Palm Beach. Uh, nighttime is a really cool time to go look at it just because a lot of things start to come out and hunt. If we're really lucky, we might find an octopus. Uh, there's all manner of other cool stuff down there. So I'm really excited to see what we're gonna find. Just about high tide, so uh, time to get in the water. As we descend beneath the, the wild cityscape of West Palm Beach, we find an amazing array of underwater creatures. This hairy frogfish, very rare around the Caribbean, but here they can be found just walking throughout the grass. As amazing as the camouflage is of the frogfish, if you look to the right, you'll see something that's even more talented sea hare. This ragged sea hare has such good camouflage that there's no way I would have seen it if I hadn't stopped to look at that hairy frogfish. As we continue swimming under the bridge, I can't help but be amazed by all the different little critters. This little lancer dragonette just sitting there waiting for his next meal. Many hermit crabs scooting around feeding on detritus. The diversity of underwater creatures just a short distance under West Palm Beach is incredible. At night, many creatures are coming out to feed. This scrawled filefish moves slowly along, looking for its next prey. Leaving the filefish behind, on an old piling, I happen across a spotted moray gliding along, seeking out an evening meal. Perhaps most surprising to me was this yellow-lined arrow crab. Usually, they're grazers, pulling off little bits of algae and other detritus they find along the reef. But occasionally, they take on the role of hunter. This little banded coral shrimp didn't stand a chance. Leaving that gruesome scene behind, we meander along, still looking for an octopus. Instead, although equally exciting, we find this guy. This is an Atlantic horseshoe crab. These are amazing creatures. Uh, they originated about 450 million years ago and have changed almost nothing since then, making them practically a living fossil. While they look like some kind of crazy cockroach, they actually have a fascinating history of use in biomedical research. I continue across the sand, still looking for an octopus. Instead, I find this cute little hermit crab. His shell is covered in anemones, so not only does he carry his home around with him, he also brings his friends. Just when I've about given up hope, I find an Atlantic long-armed octopus sitting in its little burrow out in the mudflats. Like all octopuses, these critters have amazing camouflage but they still choose to live in these underground burrows for protection before coming out at night to hunt for their prey. Like every time, the dive is over too quickly. And before we know it, we have to swim back to the boat and start making plans for our next adventure. Thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, diving this week at Blue Heron Bridge. Since we shot this, we have made our way north up the east coast, up to Maine. So if you want to see some videos about sailing the east coast and Maine diving adventures, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, looking forward to a lot more videos to come. If you haven't seen it, don't forget to check out our other Blue Heron Bridge video. A lot of fun stuff in that one too during the daytime. Thanks a lot everyone. Have a good one.